not on. Oh, there you are. Hey, how are you? I haven't seen you in so long. Hey, guys, how's it going? It's great to see you again. I hope you've been well. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. Good, good. Long what time are you time. looking forward to this year? I'm really excited to take this year to the next level. When I entered high school, I was a nervous, shy teenager. I struggled to get in front of a classroom and even answer a question. Then I wandered into a DECA meeting and my world completely changed. DECA prepares emerging leaders and entrepreneurs in marketing, finance, hospitality, and management. DECA is an international student organization with 225,000 members across all 50 states, Canada, Guam, Puerto Rico, and Germany. DECA has given me the opportunity to make friends that I never would have met before and to keep those connections despite distance gaps. DECA really has given me a big sense of community, and even though we are far apart, we still feel together and connected through all the virtual options. When I started high school, I was so incredibly nervous that I wouldn't be able to find my place or my community. And then I found DECA, where I met so many like-minded individuals from different and diverse backgrounds. DECA has given me a second home that I needed in high school. When I joined DECA, I found friends, I found my passion, and I found my future. I can be more, do more, and really take things to the next level with DECA. DECA has made me a better leader. It taught me how to handle situations under pressure. DECA allows me to employ the skills that I learn in the classroom and really grow myself as an individual. Being able to take those classroom subjects and implement them into these real life business scenarios completely changed my life. Through DECA's competitive events, I've been able to practice my skills, which has led me to my first internship. One thing in particular that I love about DECA is the hundreds of thousand dollars worth of scholarships that I would not have had access to if it wasn't for DECA. DECA, I feel like, is a perfect opportunity from anyone, wherever you live or what race you may be or what you believe in, DECA will give you the tools you need to shine. DECA is not just a business and marketing organization, it's a family. It is a community of leaders. It is a world of opportunity. DECA is a place where you can make lifelong connections. Where you can prepare for your future. And where you can become the best version of yourself. How are you doing today? Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Namaste. How are you? Namaste. How are you? DECA members are ready. Ready for a challenge. Ready to innovate. Ready for the future. And ready to go to the next level. Good evening and welcome to the 2020-2021 Annual DECA Recognition Banquet. My name is Zachary Seaburn. I am the ESM DECA President. I'm a senior and have been in DECA for four years. DECA has benefited me with the challenges I see today and also the challenges I'll see in my future. Next year, I'll be attending Dartmouth College to major in economics. The lessons DECA has taught me will undoubtedly transcend my time in the chapter and help me there. Tonight, we will recognize the people DECA would not be possible without. In such a challenging year for everyone, I am extremely proud of our chapter for embracing this year's theme of taking it to the next level. Tonight we'll honor the members, teachers, administrators, and professionals who have demonstrated outstanding achievement and involvement in our chapter. I would now like to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. I would now like to introduce the ESM DECA 2020-2021 officers. Please join me in welcoming Cameron Muir, treasurer of the Spark Mart. Hello, my name is Cameron Muir, and I'm treasurer of the Spark Mart. As treasurer of the Spark Mart, it is my responsibility to keep financial records of the school store, make transfers, and purchase orders that need to be made to operate the school store. For me, the best part of DECA was the relationships I was able to build. 
and DECA, you're working with people that you may not have thought that you'd be working with outside of the classroom. So I'm so happy to have been a part of it. I'll be attending University at Buffalo in the fall, majoring in exercise science on the pre-physical therapy track. I'm so thankful for all the help that these classes have given me and how it's going to assist me in my future. I would now like to introduce Anna James, Vice President of Finance. Hello, my name is Anna James and it is my duty as the Vice President to practice the finance element of the DECA mission. I keep all accurate records of DECA accounts following the accepted principles of accounting. I'm a two-year DECA student, I've been to regionals and states twice, and my favorite memory was last year at states in Rochester. I plan on attending the University of Mount Olive to study sports management and play lacrosse. I would now like to introduce the Vice President of Hospitality, Ariana Finkelstein. Hello, my name is Ariana Finkelstein, and for the 2020 to 2021 school year, I was DECA's Vice President of Hospitality. It is my responsibility as the Vice President of Hospitality to put into practice the hospitality element of the DECA mission, responsible for connecting members to a welcome, value-filled, fun educational experience. My favorite memory and the highlight of this DECA year for me was placing top 10 in the state career conference and also first in regionals. The future for me for my DECA career will hopefully be becoming president next year. Next, I would like to introduce you to Sophia Conzelm, the vice president of marketing. Hi, it's my duty as the vice president of marketing to practice the marketing element of the DECA mission. I'm responsible for initial membership recruitment, branding, and promotions. I also manage, implement, and oversee all public relations of ESM DECA. I am a three-year DECA member, and I have attended regionals three times and states twice. Next year, I will be attending the University of Charleston in West Virginia to play lacrosse and obtain my doctorate of pharmacy. I would now like to introduce Gino Abood, the vice president of membership. It is my duty as Vice President of Membership to practice the careers element of the DECA mission, responsible for chapter membership, participation, preparation, and performance in competitive events. Uh, some of my favorite highlights or memories from DECA was just uh, hanging out with my peers that are in DECA, getting to know them, making lifelong friends, and then um, probably going to Orlando with uh, Mr. Anzalone, and Ms. Mock, Zach, Garrett, Brandon, uh, among others. Um, it was fun. It was a good time. DECA, DECA was definitely a highlight of my high school career. Uh, in my future, I'm going to go to uh, Louisiana State University, and I'm majoring in sports administration. I would like to pass it off to the president of our DECA chapter, Zachary Sieber. I'm responsible for connecting with chartered officers and establishing chapter vision, management, and organization that ensures each chapter officer has the training, support, accountability, and resources to deliver a powerful DECA experience for each DECA member. As a regional and state finalist, I've had the opportunity to attend regionals and states for the majority of my time in DECA. The chapter dynamic at competitions is something that I'll forever remember as I head off to college next year. I would now like to introduce Garrett Hockey, a four-year DECA member. I would like to take this opportunity to also recognize some special guests that have joined us this evening. From our Board of Education, Mrs. Debbie Kolod, President, Mr. D. Paul Waltz, Vice President, Mrs. Lori Aird, Mr. John Albanese, Mrs. Susan Kane, Mrs. Tracy Callahan, Mrs. Leah Cushing, Mrs. K. Gallery, and Mrs. D. Seaman. From our ESM District Administration, Dr. Donna Desiato, Superintendent, Dr. Thomas Nevaldine, Deputy Superintendent, Ms. Catherine Scan, Executive Director of Business Administration, Mr. Kieran O'Connor, Executive Director of Planning, Development, and Technology, Mr. N. Shane Hacker, Executive Director of Curriculum, Learning, and Assessment, Mr. Douglas Mohorder, Executive Director of Employee Engagement and Accountability. From our ESM High School Administration, Mr. Granardo L. Avellino, Executive Principal, Ms. Naomi Trevison, Associate Principal, Ms. Dana Vendetti, Assistant Principal, Ms. Crystal Ward, Assistant Principal, Ms. Randy Ludwig, Coordinator for College and Career Readiness, and Mr. Adam Shatra, Spartan Academy Coordinator. Our Partnership for Learning Award recipients, Chartwell's Food Service, and a special guest, former DECA member, Stephanie Wallace. 
We would also like to recognize all of the parents of ESM DECA students and DECA alumni that are viewing the video. Thank you for your continued support of ESM DECA, and thank you all for viewing tonight. I would now like to invite Mr. Avellino, principal of the high school, to say a few words. Good evening, and welcome to our annual DECA Recognition Banquet and Partnerships for Learning Celebration. At ESM, we have a clear and compelling vision that fosters an exemplary 21st century learning community whose graduates are prepared to excel in a complex, interconnected, changing world. DECA members gain 21st century skills through participation in DECA activities. 92% of DECA members say they learn how to communicate thoughts and ideas, how to organize a presentation, and more about what businesses expect from employees while gaining problem-solving skills. DECA members are prepared to become leaders. More than 90% of DECA members say that their experience empowered them to be an effective leader and connected school to the real world. Nearly 80% of DECA members say DECA helped them to, to recognize the benefit of community service. Year after year, DECA members continue to inspire by giving back to our ESM community. Education prepares students to become productive and responsible citizens who contribute to their communities. Mr. Anzalone, Mr. Musolino, and students kick off the new year with planning, development of their projects, and ultimately preparing for the regional and national competitions. Unfortunately, the local, regional, and national competitions were virtual. However, students still collaboratively work together to bring success, not only for their projects, but also themselves. This year marks another incredible year for DECA. You will hear from our students, how they led and gave back to our community. This inspiration starts somewhere, and we have our teachers to thank. I would like to recognize Mr. Anzalone, Mr. Mussolino, Mrs. Mock, Mrs. Corbett, and Mrs. Baker for all that they have done with our DECA students. Parents and extended family, thank you for all of your support as well. Being actively involved and having fun while collaboratively learning is why DECA is so essential. DECA builds scholars, it's hands-on, and DECA is pressure to be the very best and to perform under pressure while maintaining one's composure and learning some of life's soft skills to be successful. To me, DECA inspires and brings learning to new heights. Students, congratulations on another successful year. Thank you to everyone for helping our children develop in ways that we never could have, could have imagined. And thank you parents and business partnerships for all of your support for ESM Central High School. Our Board of Education unanimously approved a five-year strategic plan designed to foster an exemplary 21st century learning community whose graduates are prepared to excel in a complex, interconnected, changing world. Focus area two of our strategic plan is building capacity and sustaining relationships to increase student learning. This has been a diligent focus throughout this year on initiatives directly related to enhancing community and business partnerships to provide expertise and, uh, and authentic learning opportunities for students and staff for career awareness and development. The mission of the East Syracuse Manoa Central School District is to prepare students for the 21st century by engaging all learners in meaningful learning experiences that meet the highest educational and ethical standards in a caring, collaborative learning community supported through partnerships with parents and families, businesses, civic organizations, and higher education. Our Building Action Team defines partnerships for learning as any collaboration with people and organizations outside of our school buildings for the purpose of enriching the education of our students in ways that support students to achieve educational and career goals. Our Partnership for Learning Action Team's primary focus is to facilitate the increase in the number of partnerships that have a positive impact on student development 
and student achievement at ESN. Each year our district recognizes a specific partnership or partnerships that exemplify a partnership for learning. East Syracuse Manoa Central School District students, staff, and community benefit significantly from supportive and engaging partnerships like these because of the lifelong learning that is important to all of us. This benefits partnership of all involved. Thank you. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Donna Desiato, Superintendent of Schools, to present this year's partnerships recognition, Chartwell's K-12. This has certainly been a year of challenge and change, but it's also been a year of accomplishments and making great strides. So I want to take a moment to thank all of our DECA students for your creativity, your endurance, your perseverance, and for your, I wanna recognize and congratulate you for your accomplishments at both the regional level as well as the state level. And we're going to hope for the best at the international level. I also wanna thank all of the DECA advisors and all that you do each and every day and throughout the year to support DECA. This is an important night. It recognizes so many milestones for DECA as well as recognizing and, and thanking our parents for your ongoing support. We also wanna thank all of the staff who contribute to supporting DECA throughout the entire year. It's also an evening in which we recognize a partnership for learning. Each and every year, we set aside this event to recognize one of our partnerships for learning. This year, we will be recognizing Chartwells and we thank them and congratulate them in being the partnership for learning for 2021. Again, I thank all of you and all that you're doing and let's stay healthy and let's have a great memory for 2021 as far as all the things that DECA was able to accomplish as well as our partnership for learning. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kate Skeen, Executive Director of School Business Administration. And I can tell you that ESM students benefit greatly from our rewarding partnership with Chartwells. Our collaboration with Chartwells began in the summer of 2013 when we selected them as our first food service management company. And since that time, Chartwells has served up nutritious kid approved meals to all of our students uh, throughout our district and our school cafeterias. And they've implemented several innovative programs to spark curiosity about nutrition and to promote student wellness. When the COVID pandemic hit in March, uh, it caused all of our schools to shift to emergency meal operations. And I can tell you that Chartwell's team, they did not miss a beat. Literally overnight, they switched from only preparing uh, fully cooked foods where everything was served on site at our schools and our school cafeterias to serving all individually wrapped meals where nothing was served on site. The Chartwells team overcame a lot of obstacles, including supply shortages, um, food delivery issues, uh, logistical issues, to set up uh, what was really a completely new program. They ensured that ESM students continued to receive 11,000 healthy and nutritious breakfast and lunch meals every single week while they were learning remotely. For the current school year, Chartwells partnered with ESM to develop food service delivery models completely customized to each um, school's reopening learning model uh, to best suit the needs of each building. So this included everything from grab and go meals to breakfast and lunch in the classroom and then new delivery models uh, for meals that were served in our school cafeterias. And along with that, new cleaning and sanitizing protocols between service times were also implemented to ensure staff and student safety. Throughout what has been a very challenging pandemic year, Chartwells has been an exemplary partner in learning. Their flexibility, creativity, commitment to happy and healthy students are to be commended. In particular, I would like to recognize Dave Smith, Chartwells District Manager, Rose Montanaro, Director of Dining Services Extraordinaire, and finally, all of our Chartwells site leads and staff members. I am proud to help recognize Chartwells as the 2021 ESM Partnership for Learning.
You hear that? Here we go, DECA. Here we go. Congratulations, DECA. Hey, DECA members. Happy DECA banquet. Hope you um, enjoy your evening. And just want to tell you, I think you guys are great. It's been a heck of a year, but you've competed, you've worked hard, and uh, congratulations on a successful year. Bye. Yes, I'm DECA members and advisors. The Business and Information Technology Department is very proud of all of your ability to level up during a global pandemic. You've shown once again your leadership in our school, community, and selves. Through the push to develop your professional skills to prepare for regions and states, to running community service projects such as the Memory Brick Project and Blood Drive. Congratulations to all participants this year and thank you for all the wonderful things you do in our school and community. And you truly have leveled up. Deca love. Hello, my name is Crystal Ward and I'm an assistant principal at Central High School. I have the wonderful opportunity of working closely with the Business and Information Technology Department. Together, they work diligently to prepare students for success beyond the classroom. This year posed many different obstacles, but these truly great educators forge strong relationships, allowing them to overcome any challenges and continue with providing academic and professional excellence. Students continue to excel in academic achievement while learning the benefits of serving their community, the importance of their ethical responsibility, and building the skills necessary to be effective leaders. Mr. Anzalone, Ms. Baker, Ms. Corbett, Ms. Mock, and Mr. Melissolino, thank you for your dedication and your passion that your leadership brings to our students. You truly provide our students with the necessary skills to excel in a complex, interconnected, and ever-changing world. Let us all be inspired by the entrepreneurial energy these young minds share with us today. My name is Spencer Carnival. My name is Benjamin Sellers. And I'm Adam Clendenin. And our project is called Home V, uh, and we competed in the Startup Business Plan event in which we placed top 10 overall at the New York DECA Career Conference. Our mission statement was to dedicate all efforts into giving consumers the very best of all kitchen products. Our goals consisted of creating long lasting relationships with suppliers, establish social media presence, and effectively execute marketing strategies. So what we did is we created a business plan for HomeV and HomeV is a dropshipping brand that strives to be everyone's number one source for all premium quality kitchen related products with focus on customer satisfaction, uniqueness, and dependability. And throughout the business plan, we addressed every aspect along the way and how we will differ from our competitors if we do execute this plan. So personally, my favorite moment was um, being able to compete with two of my friends and uh, succeed pretty well at the state competition. Um, personally, my favorite part of this journey was learning all about e-commerce because it is something I want to pursue in the future. My favorite moment was just learning the important components that go into creating a business and pitching it to the judges. Hello, I am Anna James. And I'm Sophia Conzone, and our project was Rise to the Next Level t-shirts, where we participated in the Integrated Marketing Campaign product. Our mission statement for our project was promoting DECA and local businesses. Goal setting is a vital component of any project, and our three main goals were to secure 20 sponsors to raise at least $1,500, raise funds to help support the ESM DECO program during this difficult time, and to sell a minimum of 50 shirts, which would raise approximately $500. Our project was to design and sell t-shirts for our ESM DECA chapter. We are fortunate enough to have a DECA program in our high school where all students can participate in, so we created a t-shirt that represented our ideas with a simple message, and our goal was to bring our school and community together for a worthy cause. Some of our favorite memories were creating and designing the t-shirts for the DECA members and planning our event. And one of my favorite memories was doing our role play at States and also designing our event. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, my name is Ariana Finkelstein and I am a part of our ESM DECA community here at our high school. This year, I'm going to introduce you to my project, which is an integrated marketing campaign event. And my project was a winter talent show. This year, I got into the top 10 overall for the New York DECA Career Conference. We had mission goals and goals for our event planned out prior. My mission statement was to provide an event for our community to come together and create happy memories throughout this global pandemic. 
We also had project goals, and I would like to state those here for you today. We wanted to bring our East Syracuse Manoa community together through a virtually safe event due to the pandemic. And next, we wanted to raise awareness to the importance of staying safe during this difficult time we have all experienced throughout the past year. And last but not least, because this is the most important, we wanted to bring a light back to our community that we once had. For a little short description of the event, I would like to say that we were uplifting spirits just one act at a time. East Syracuse Manoa Deca wants to honor our community this year with a virtual talent show. How perfect. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, many public events have not been able to happen. So this year, we decided to try our best to help our community in a safe way, but also a fun way. My favorite memory and the best moment of the event was just being able to come up with the process and the thought process behind wanting to help our ESM community. Because we're all part of this community and we just want it to shine once again. Thank you. Hello, my name is John Allahan. And my name is Cameron Yorn. Our project this year was called the Leave Your Mark Commemorative Brick Campaign. It was an integrated marketing campaign project. Our mission is to honor your lifelong connection with ESM and help our community through difficult times. Our main project goals were to honor members of our community and alumni by placing the bricks in our Hall of Fame walkway, raise funds to help support the CARE Fund during this difficult time, and to sell a minimum of 50 bricks, which will raise approximately $1,000 for the CARE Fund. We exceeded our goals. We sold 106 bricks for a total of $7,140. All of the proceeds went to the CARE Fund. The Leave Your Mark Commemorative Brick, Camp Brick Campaign is something East Syracuse Manoa Deca is continuing a lifelong tradition to honor the ESM alumni and community by bringing back the custom engraved brick sales. ESM alumni and the community will have an opportunity to leave their mark permanently on the high school. It is a way to honor others and show our support to ESM by purchasing commemorative bricks that will be placed in the walkway outside of ESM's Hall of Fame entrance. The proceeds generated from the sales will support the mission statement of the Caravan. First brick came in for us to see. And I enjoyed the process of getting the event ready and putting it together. My name is Zachary Seaburn. And my name is Gino Boone. And together we led an integrated marketing campaign titled The Gift of Life. The mission of our campaign was to successfully organize and implement a community-wide blood drive that generated as many donations as possible in such a critical time for blood. Our campaign, The Gift of Life, promoted a community-wide blood drive that benefits the Red Cross. With a need for blood at an all-time high amidst the pandemic, we strive to engage a community within our school district to make life-saving donations. Collaborating with the Eastern New York region of the American Red Cross, we are working alongside Red Cross volunteers to optimize donations in the convenience of our high school and allow for a variety of donations. The blood drive was originally scheduled to occur on November 20th, 2022, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. within the high school. The closure of district buildings due to technology outages prompted the rescheduling of the event to January 29th, 2021. In order to maximize awareness surrounding the need for blood and engage as many donors as possible, Educating our community about the importance of blood donations and how donations help those in need was integral. Our four main goals were to optimize donations, engage volunteers, promote positive donor experiences, and raise awareness for the need of blood. My favorite memory from the event was probably when I gave blood, just to know that I was making so much of a difference and to help with something that I just put so much hard work into. It was a, it was a great feeling. My favorite memory of the event was bringing together members of different clubs to promote the event on the morning show. Good evening, everyone. My name is Joseph Mussolino, and I have the pleasure of announcing the 2020-2021 DECA Awards. Let us begin with the outstanding DECA leadership. This is an appreciation for your leadership to the East Syracuse Manoa DECA chapter. This is presented to Zach Seaburn. For outstanding DECA service, for your participation and excellence in the East Syracuse Manoa DECA chapter, this award is presented to John Olahan. For distinguished DECA member, in appreciating for your dedication and leadership, to the East Syracuse Manoa DECA chapter. This year's recipient is Garrett. For outstanding DECA member, 
in appreciation for your dedication and leadership for the East Syracuse Minoa Mino Deca chapter. We have two recipients this year, Sophia Calzone and Anna James. And finally, but not least, of course, the DECA Spirit Award for your enthusiasm and excellence in the DEC East Syracuse Manoa DECA chapter. The winner is Ariana Finkelstein. Congratulations to all of you. It's been a wonderful year. It's considering everything, you've done a marvelous job. You deserve these completely. Congratulations to all of you. Good evening. I'm Mr. Anzalone. DEC advisor at ESM. I would like to personally thank you for attending this year's second DECA virtual conference. Last year from my basement, I started my video by welcoming you to the first virtual DECA banquet and said I hoped it would be the last DECA virtual banquet. Well, here we are again on year two to the second DECA virtual banquet. Hopefully, next year, we will be able to have the banquet in person. This has definitely been a difficult year for DECA and putting on events that we would normally put on with the restrictions. Through this, we have had some outstanding events this year. The blood drive had great participation from the local community. The CARA Fund Brick Project had outstanding participation. The Brick Project sold 106 bricks and will be donating nearly $4,000 to the CARA Fund. I want to thank the ESM community for their overwhelming support in this project. This project was one of the largest financial successful projects that we've had since I've been advisor. This definitely has been a difficult few years for our seniors in DECA. No ICDC the last two years. No New York State DECA career conference competition this year. Virtually it was held. But when I look back on this senior class, a few memories that will stand out. I am so glad that a few of the seniors were able to attend ICDC in Orlando their sophomore year. Zach Seaburn, Gino Abood, Garrett Hockey, and Brandon Warner. Who knew at that time that that would be the last time that we would be attending ICDC in person? I am so glad that they had the opportunity as sophomores to attend ICDC. Last year at States in Rochester, when the group of DECA students were all hanging out in the hallway playing a game, I really missed spending time with the students at States and getting to know more about them this year. All the great events that we've had throughout the four years that they've been here, especially the comedy shows that were first implemented while their class was here in high school. I wish all the seniors the best of luck with their future. To, to the underclassmen, we're really looking forward next year to getting back to our community service projects that we've put on in the past. The fashion show, the basketball games, the comedy show, we really look forward to giving back to the community in live events next year. Next, the DECA Outstanding Lifetime Service Award. I can't think of a more deserving recipient of this year's ESM Outstanding Lifetime Service Award. She is a former DECA student and she was in the first class of DECA students that I personally worked with here at ESM. This year, she went above and beyond. She secured us Chuck Bartlett, a national motivational speaker to present to our ownership class. She volunteered to speak to our DECA class about the impact that DECA has had on her life. And she also volunteered to be our guest speaker for the DECA banquet. 
Mrs. Wallace, an appreciation for your dedication, service, and support of the ESM DECA chapter, we would like to present you the Outstanding Lifetime Service Award. Thank you, and we look forward to working with you in the future. Have a great night. Hello, fellow DECA members and supporters. My name is Stephanie Wallace. I am an ESM alumni and DECA alumni. I feel like DECA to me not only was a place to learn how to grow, to be able to learn really valuable skills that I brought into my adulthood, but it also became a little family. Uh, the teachers and the staff that you guys are working with are just absolutely remarkable. They put students first. They care about what it is that you guys are wanting to learn. They try to push you to be better. Um, they always believe in you, which I feel like has always been helpful. And then DECA is a place where you can kind of meet all walks of life. It's not just any particular type of student that you're going to interact with. Um, you can build lasting relationships or professional relationships in the future that can help you. And I feel like DECA was a place for me to really learn how to grow, to be vulnerable, to try things that I was maybe scared to do at first, like being able to present at a big conference, be able to make impactful changes in our local communities, uh, raising awareness for uh, certain concerns, for cures, for different diseases and ailments, and, and just being able to, to learn how to be a team. And so DECA, not only to me, was a place that I really became a leader it also really transferred into my adulthood. I had noticed that because I had worn that awesome blue blazer that you guys hopefully still have, um, it gave me a sense of pride and responsibility, and that went into my college years. So I became an ambassador of my undergraduate at Mercyhurst University, and I got to wear a green blazer there and do tours and, and have leadership roles and make an influence for the students that were coming in as well as the students that were there. And that was a huge turning point for me. Um, I am currently a school-based mental health clinician here at ESM. I'm finishing my doctorate in education. And I think that DECA has really helped me learn that you can be your own boss in so many ways and to never give up on your dreams and the things that you want to pursue in life. It's not just something that comes easily. You definitely have to work hard and have a passion and have a goal. Um, but it just goes to show you that you're never too old to, to try different things or to, to follow your passions and your pursuits. And hopefully your teachers are going to continue to be there for you and, and be supportive of you and, and even be able to talk to when you come back uh, decades from now and, and utilize that as a support system. I know that that's been very helpful for me coming back into this community. So I hope that if nothing else, that all of you DECA members, ones that will be graduating and moving forward, and those of you that have a few more years to, to make a change and make a difference here, that, that you take time to, to learn from these people, these mentors, these these friends, these allies, that, uh, that there's so many different abilities in life and so many responsibilities that you guys have now are going to only help you in the future and get you where you want to have and be in life. So hopefully... You guys have a great time. Congratulations on getting through this really awful year of COVID and being here in school and virtual. And hopefully that this just shows you that the sky's the limit. So keep on, keep on keeping on and go DACA. Bye guys. I would like to start off by thanking Meadow Dodge uh, she was the first person to persuade and mention me joining in on her project and just in DECA overall. Uh, it was one of the best decisions I've ever made, and I wanted to thank you again. Uh, I wanted to also thank Anz and Moose, who have supported me in and out of the classroom these past few years, and even though I've only been in DECA for two years, some of the best memories I have in high school are from DECA, whether it was at ICDC or overall just in the classroom, I would not be where I am today 
without you guys and I wanted to thank you for the skills and knowledge I have gained from you that that I will continue to use in college and in my career. I would also like to thank my parents who have supported and funded me while in DECA and I just wanted to give you all a huge thanks again. I really could not be more grateful. I wanted to start by thanking Anselm and Moose for supporting me through my high school years, whether it was in their classroom or on the sports field or just overall in my everyday. I could always go to them as my teacher or just somebody to talk to if I had a problem. And overall, they really made my high school memorable. And I will always be so grateful for everything you guys have taught me. And I also want to thank my classmates for all the laughs and the arguments that we've shared throughout the years. Um, you guys have really made DECA feel like a family to me and I will always remember this class. And I also want to thank my parents for always supporting me. And honestly, I don't think I would have ever been a DECA member if it wasn't for my parents telling me I need to take the class. So. I just wanted to thank everybody because without you, I wouldn't be where I am today. Hi, my name is Vinny Bova. I'm a three-year DECA member. Throughout DECA, my greatest achievement would be raising $1,500 for the Kara M. Baldwin Foundation through Comedy for a Cure. I was lucky enough to present my Comedy for a Cure project at States in Rochester. I'd like to thank Mr. Anslone, Mr. Mussolino, and most importantly, my mom and my dad for making it all of it able to happen. I couldn't have done it without them paying for <laughs> half the things I was able to do. I would also like to thank DECA for preparing me for the future and anything that I will encounter. I'm very glad I took the opportunity to join DECA my freshman year. Four regional, four state, and two international conferences later, I am grateful for the qualities the club has instilled in me. That gives allowed me to leave a lasting impact on the local community, as I was a part of the financial literacy and community service projects throughout my time here. I'd like to thank the ESM administration for being so supportive of the chapter and allowing us the opportunity to compete at each level of competition. I'd also like to thank Mr. Anslone, Mr. Mussolino, Mrs. Mock, and every teacher that makes DECA possible. Most importantly, I'd like to thank my parents for making my DECA experience possible and being so supportive throughout the entire time. I now declare the East Syracuse Manila DECA Chapter Annual Recognition Banquet to be adjourned. Thank you all once again for joining us for this wonderful celebration. Have a great evening.